Unraveling the Decline, Understanding Factors Behind the Ebb of Muslim Dominance in Education and Development. The decline of Muslim dominance in education and development relative to other nations and religions can be traced back to a complex interplay of historical, political, social, and economic factors that unfolded over centuries. The Islamic Golden Age, characterized by remarkable achievements in science, philosophy, and culture, marked a pinnacle of Muslim civilization. However, subsequent centuries witnessed a gradual erosion of this dominance, giving way to a relative decline. Moving ahead with the main video, it is requested not to forget to subscribe the channel. One pivotal factor contributing to this decline was the political fragmentation and instability that plagued the medieval Muslim world. The disintegration of the Abbasid Caliphate, compounded by devastating invasions such as those by the Mongols and Crusaders, shattered political unity and stability. These upheavals disrupted the conducive environment necessary for sustained intellectual and economic progress, undermining the foundations of Muslim civilization. The advent of European colonialism in the 18th and 19th centuries further exacerbated the challenges facing the Muslim world. Colonial powers imposed their authority, restructuring local economies to serve their interests. Traditional educational systems were marginalized, and new administrative structures were established, often at the expense of indigenous intellectual traditions. The resulting disruption hindered the transmission of knowledge and stifled the development of indigenous intellectual capital. Furthermore, the shift in global trade routes and economic centers from the Mediterranean and Silk Road regions to the Atlantic marginalized the Muslim world economically. This decline in economic centrality led to reduced investment in education and intellectual pursuits as resources were redirected to meet more immediate economic needs. As a consequence, the Muslim world gradually lost its competitive edge in the global marketplace of ideas and innovation. Internally, there was a noticeable degree of intellectual stagnation within the Muslim world. The spirit of inquiry and openness that characterized the early Islamic Golden Age waned over time, giving way to increasing conservatism and orthodoxy in certain regions. This trend contributed to a decline in scientific and philosophical advancements, as critical thinking and innovation were stifled by rigid adherence to traditional interpretations. Moreover, traditional educational institutions like madrasas, while preserving important religious and cultural knowledge, often emphasized religious studies at the expense of the sciences and rational inquiry. This shift in focus hindered the Muslim world's participation in the scientific revolution unfolding in Europe, further widening the gap in intellectual and technological development. Social and cultural factors also played a significant role in the decline. The prioritization of religious and legal studies over the natural sciences and philosophy in many parts of the Muslim world hindered intellectual and scientific progress. The resulting narrow focus constrained the diversity of ideas and perspectives necessary for innovation and advancement. The Renaissance in Europe, followed by the Scientific Revolution and the Enlightenment, marked a significant shift in the global landscape of knowledge and innovation. European universities and academies emerged as the new centers of learning and scientific inquiry, overshadowing their counterparts in the Muslim world. This shift further accelerated the relative decline of Muslim dominance in education and development. Additionally, many parts of the Muslim world were slower to industrialize and modernize compared to Europe and North America. Industrialization brought about significant advancements in technology, education, and infrastructure, which were less prevalent in many Muslim-majority regions until much later. This lag in modernization further exacerbated the educational and developmental disparities between the Muslim world and other regions. While political fragmentation and instability are often cited as central factors in the decline, it is crucial to acknowledge the interdependence of various factors. Economic decline, the rise of conservative orthodoxy, and external pressures from colonialism, all intertwined with political instability, contributing to a multifaceted decline in the educational and developmental prominence of the Muslim world. Towards the conclusion of the video, may I remind you to like, share, 
comment on the video and subscribe the channel. However, it's essential to note that in recent decades, many Muslim-majority countries have made significant strides in revitalizing their intellectual and developmental capacities. Investments in education, science, and technology reflect a renewed commitment to reclaiming their historical legacy of innovation and progress. While the challenges remain formidable, these efforts signal a potential resurgence in the Muslim world's contribution to global education and development in the 21st century. Thank you for watching.